Look around you. The air you breathe, the light you see, the ground beneath your feet, each exists because the universe permits it. But what if the universe didn't have to be this way? What if life itself is the result of a cosmic coincidence, or worse, a deliberate design? This is the heart of the anthropic principle, a concept that asks, why does the universe seem so perfectly tuned for life? The anthropic principle begins with a simple observation. The fundamental constants of the universe are improbably precise. If gravity were just a fraction stronger, stars would collapse before they could form planets. If it were weaker, stars would never ignite, leaving the universe dark and lifeless. Some call it the Goldilocks universe, where conditions are just right for life to exist. But is this precision the result of chance or something more profound? Consider this. There are over 20 constants in physics. Gravity, the speed of light, the strength of the electromagnetic force that seem perfectly calibrated for life. Change any of them slightly and atoms might not bond, stars might not shine and life as we know it would be impossible. Is this precision sheer luck or is there another explanation? The anthropic principle divides into two camps, the weak anthropic principle and the strong anthropic principle. The weak version suggests that we can only observe the universe this way because we exist, nothing profound, just coincidence. But the strong version claims there's something deeper at play, that the universe must be fine-tuned, perhaps intentionally, to allow observers like us to exist. Some argue this points to a creator, a higher intelligence crafting the cosmos. Others point to the multiverse theory. The multiverse suggests that our universe is just one of countless others, each with different physical constants. Most are dead and lifeless. But in at least one, ours, the conditions just happen to align perfectly for life. In this view, the universe isn't fine-tuned. We're just lucky residents of a rare life-supporting bubble. Think of it as a cosmic lottery. Someone has to win, and we did. But the anthropic principle isn't just about science. It's deeply philosophical. If the universe is fine-tuned, does that mean we have a purpose? Are we the intended result of some cosmic plan? Or are we merely an accident in an uncaring multiverse? Even if the multiverse exists, why should it exist at all? What gave rise to these infinite possibilities? And why do we, with our consciousness, find ourselves asking these questions? In the end, the anthropic principle doesn't give us answers. It gives us perspective. Whether by chance, design or multiverse, the fact remains, the universe exists in such a way that life is possible and we are here to witness it. Maybe the real question isn't why the universe is fine-tuned for us, but why we are fine-tuned to ask the question at all. Coincidence or design, the universe awaits your answer. 